As we count down to the big debate, joining me now here at Washington University in St. Louis is Martha McCallum, the co-host of America's Newsroom, who moderated some of the presidential primary debates. And Martha, this uh, Donald Trump videotape story has exploded like a neutron bomb. Some Republicans calling him to drop out. I don't see that happening. Do you have a sense that some folks in the media are kind of cheering this on, kind of enjoying this twist and, and watching the setback for the Trump campaign? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Uh, you know, you have to ask yourself about the coverage of this issue and how important this moment really is in terms of measuring a presidency. However, as you and I well know, we live in a world where people sort of want to digest scandalous material uh, at a level that is really unprecedented. And the desire to dig deeper into policy is not always there. But Donald Trump is such a unique candidate. You know, he's obviously a businessman who came up through the ranks and built a real estate empire, but he's also a reality TV show star. So from the very beginning, this has been digested by the media and I think by the public at a level and in a way that is just not like anything we've seen in terms of, of typical political editorial digestion. <laughs> so it, it is a completely unique situation and this unfortunately for him it feeds right into the worst nightmare of the way he treats women and talks about women and women have been the problem for him electorally since day one. So the group that he should have been building traction with and building reputation with over the past four or five months in particular and he made some ground there uh, he is sliding down right. that hill quickly and it, it's going to be very difficult for him to repair tonight but that's the job that's set before him Howie. Right, yeah, white hot, fo white hot focus on that and, and relatively little focus yeah. on the WikiLeaks stump on Hillary Clinton. But let me ask you this, because we've got the debate coming right. up. Anderson Cooper, CNN, one of the moderators, ABC's Martha Raddatz, the other. CNN just now reporting that both moderators will make the Trump videotape access Hollywood, talking about groping women, the focus of the opening set of questions. Um, does that seem right to you? And is there any danger that it will over end up overshadowing the economy and taxes and terrorism and other issues that Americans obviously is. care about. Yeah, uh, of course there's a danger of that, and it's going to be up to Donald Trump to you know sort of answer that question in the way that he has designed uh, and decided to answer that question, and to then move on to the issues that got him through an incredibly roller coaster tumultuous primary where he vanquished 16 other candidates out there. So he's got to figure out how he's going to deal with this question, and in a way, Howie, it's probably better for him if it does come right off the top. You know, Hillary Clinton is also going to have to answer to these WikiLeaks. Uh, stories that have mm -hmm. come out about her public versus private persona and they better press her on that as well I mean they're they are going to have to be seen as coming at these candidates fairly I really question why the Trump campaign did not put Donald Trump out there last night why he didn't do a sit-down interview with a you know sort of neutral party to talk about his life to talk about the way he sees things to you know express you know his uh, apology to women that he offended with this he could have gotten this story a little bit behind him in a well-crafted appearance last night. And I really think that that's right. going to be one of the questions that continues to dog him. Why didn't they do that yeah. last night? Instead, it all comes down to tonight, and I predict uh, that the, the viewership will be at least as high, if not higher, than the first debate. Let's take a brief oh, look back at the VP sure. debate, Tim Kaine and Mike Pence, because CBS's yeah. Elaine Quijano, a little less experienced at this, was the moderator. Here's some of what happened uh, with her in the moderator chair. You can't meet the Nixon standard. The people at home cannot people understand have some... either one of you when you speak over each other. I would please ask you to wait until it is that the other is finished. I was in Washington, D.C. on 9-11. On I saw the clouds uh, of smoke rise from the Pentagon. I was in Virginia, where the uh, Pentagon I know you were. Mm -hmm. uh, we all lived through that day as a nation. Mm -hmm. Because the please. FBI did, the, did an investigation. Gentlemen. And they concluded that there was Senator, no reasonable prosecutor who would take it further. Senator Sorry. Kane, Governor Pence, please. There was so much crosstalk uh, in Farmville, Virginia, it was hard to hear. Got about a minute. Uh, did Lady Cajano lose control of that debate? And is there any danger of that happening tonight in St. Louis? 
Yeah, I think she did a little bit. I think both of those guys came in, you know, sort of loaded for bear and ready to jump in on each other. Tim Kaine said that even his wife told him he interrupted too many times. I think it was like 72 times right. or something. And I don't think it really reflected well on him. Um, but I do not expect that to happen tonight. I don't think Anderson Cooper or Martha Raddatz, who I uh, ran into briefly this morning and asked her how she felt about tonight, she said, sure, I'm nervous. You know, if you're not nervous, you're not going to be on your A game. Um, and I don't think right. either one of them would put up with the kind of thing that we saw at the VP debate. I'm with you on that. And of course, everybody a little nervous before such a big event. Martha, excuse me. Sure. Martha McCallum, <laughs> great to see you. We get confused all the time. Martha's today. Thanks, Howie. We'll see you later on our show. <laughs>